Hey Jimmy, 6 9 re open your case. Cause he heard you on the wiretap giving out hate. You should have seen Danny look on his face. Feds told him Jim taking your place. He the reason why we cuffed you today. We can't charge him cause he working for Jay. And he working for us. The ATF and that chick there's a raid. Jim crack a smile when we dismiss the case. Call Jimmy like, don't worry about that gun charging VA. You say the bloods got the bricks of the yay. Casting over the face. Okay, Jimmy, the conspiracy charges is a race. Huh? Well, Splash and the soldier the game spitter. 6 9 he had a lot of good points about Jimmy in that clubhouse phone conversation. Yeah, about the wiretap, how Jimmy escaped conspiracy charges, how the VA charges went away, how he was the head of the Bloods, how he had a lot of rank or a lot of power, and he didn't get caught up in no situations, how he just got free. He made a lot of good points. But you got to understand about Jimmy, Jim Jones. See, Jim Jones won a 6 9 spot. That's where 6 ix where Jim Jones was supposed to be. Because Jim Jones always wanted to be the big capo, the big CEO, the big game leader, the big father, the big everything. But he couldn't handle all the power. But he got in position to get that power, but he couldn't handle it. He wasn't, he, wasn't the, he wasn't the best star. He ain't the best CEO. He ain't the best game leader. He just not the best for, you know, leadership. That's not Jimmy. And the reason that is is because Jimmy is a selfish boss. He wasn't meant to be a CEO, just a boss, like just to look out for himself and his family, like his girl, his wife, and his kids. That's it. Not to look over no a whole group of bloods or a whole group of rappers. That ain't Jim. That's more like far as like rap, the hip hop. That's Cameron's job. The streets. That's somebody else's job. They wasn't in Jim. He got presented all this power because then nobody else want to take it. Something happened in that blood organization where Jim was able to step up and take over and get power. Because then nobody else wanted it at the time. Cameron didn't want it. He didn't want the headache. He didn't want the Fed Charles. He knew what come with it. Joel didn't want it. But Jim, he always wanted that. He always wanted the power. He knew Cameron was going to have the rap part, the rap side more so. But he always wanted everything. And, you know, the members, the shooters and all that there, they always wanted to be a part of the hip hop scene because that's New York. New York always was a part of the hip hop scene. They, they seen that growing up all their lives. Yeah, before them, they people, they mama and they daddy and them seen the hip hop scene. So yeah, they want to be a part of it. They go hand in hand and then New York. So Jim got all the power. He didn't know how to use, he didn't know how to use the soldiers right. He didn't know how to use the power right. He couldn't put them in position. He wasn't making enough money. He couldn't take care of Mary Murder. He couldn't take care of Shoddy. He couldn't take care of Max B. He couldn't take care of Stack Bundle and still take care of himself. He wasn't getting what Danny was getting. He wasn't getting what 69 was getting. He wasn't getting no 100,000 a show, 200,000 a show, 300,000, 75,000. He never get up there. He was probably getting like 20, 50,000. At balling, at the height of his career, at balling, probably getting 50,000, 40,000 a show. That's not enough to take care of Stack Bundles, Max B. Shoddy and Mel Murder and all them there. They want enough to take care of them. So they got to, you know, shack up in apartments and townhomes and four of them, five of them sleep in that one and five more sleep in that one and they sleeping on the floors, maybe a two, three bedroom apartment and Max B got to live or Stack Bundles got to live with Jim. They got to be roommates. He ain't have all that money. He couldn't afford all that death. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't supposed to have all that power. He didn't know what to do with it. He was just supposed to be a rapper, an underboss. But Jim, he always wanted to be something he wasn't. And that's having all the power, having all the control. And as you see, he didn't have the right funds or the right brains to operate an organization like that. He didn't. It wasn't supposed to be him. But he was the closest thing that the Bloods can get to that was to the music industry. He was like their way out. He was the only one that wanted to put him in position for a way out. Not knowing, they not knowing though that Jimmy is a selfish boss. They not knowing that, like the rappers, Max B, Stack Bundle, they not knowing if they come up with hit record songs, hit songs, you know, Jim gonna take it for himself and not put them, he gonna, yeah, Max B might come up with balling, but Jim gonna put his vocals over it and take the song. And he not gonna make it as a team. It ain't no unit, it ain't none of that. Nah, it ain't none of that. He ain't, nah, he, ain't, he don't want you to be another Jim Jones. He don't want to make none of them. He never made nobody rich. Who Jim Jones made a million there, legally? Who Jim Jones made a million there the legit way? Falls like a rapper. Don't worry, I wait. Yeah, he can't, nah, that ain't him. He can make himself one, 
So he used everybody. He used everybody. He used the soldiers and he used the rappers. He used the rappers for the material, the music, the hits. He used the soldier for the muscle, the look, to make it seem real. It is real. And it, it, they make it seem like that. He just buried feed them. He give them just enough to keep them in the house. Whether, you know, just a roof over their head, maybe a car, uh, you know, everybody can't get a car. A couple of guns, stay high, stay drugged up, stay juiced up, whatever they own. You know, keep a pair of FOS1s, a jersey here, it's a couple of Tims, white tees, a lot of fitted hats, a lot of free dip set shirts and merchandise, and a lot of red bandanas, a lot of tours, a lot of five star restaurants, stuff like that. Little stuff, the same stuff that can impress a female that you impress a female with as far as being a rapper or one of the ones living like that. That's what he tried to do to impress the game members, to impress the rappers. And that's only gonna work for so much. Soon as a nigga wising up, yeah, he gonna feel like you trying to handle him like a little female. And that's when 6ix9ine come in. 6ix9ine, he different. He showed them the world. He showed them Rolexes and baguettes and travel outside the country and get them into this venue and stand beside this rapper and they actually getting, they looking in their bank account or looking in their shoebox or stash, whatever, and they seeing it go from 20,000 or they seeing it go from 10,000, 20,000, 40, 50, 60, 70, and they having jewelry like the rappers and they staying in designer and they, yeah, they riding in them cars. They living the life. They really out the hood now. They living in mansions, five-star type uh, 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 penthouses, five-star type uh, hotels and all that stuff. Five star meals, little thoughts. I ain't gonna say five star thoughts. I'm gonna say just little thoughts. You know, they still like, they still hit a little book of wooga in Blue Moon. They still hit a little Baquisha. They ain't getting no uh, making goods and no, nothing like that. Oh, no, that's too much there. But, you know, females, they having them. They having all that there. They own designer drugs and all that there. 6 9 supplying everything, everything they need. And they don't even gotta really work hard like that. Yeah, they might gotta bust their gun, but that's that's what they do in the hood anyway. Now they can really get rich and do it. So yeah, Jim Jones, he ain't like that. He ain't like when he seen 6ix9ine. He ain't like the power 6ix9ine had. He seen that 6ix9ine can make them soldiers move way faster than he can. He ain't like that. And he like, ah, he ain't even the real thing. He really wanted to, you know, so you can, hey, 6ix9ine, when before everything went down for the Feds game, Jim Jones used to call Mayor Murder and all of them and used to be hating on you. Saying little slick disses, saying he, yeah, when the time right, they gon' yeah. He was saying that way before the wire tap. He ain't never liked you, cause he he ain't like your position, cause you took his and he needed that back. But he ain't had the funds and the power. You got too big. They didn't expect you to get this big. They wanted to keep you at a lower level. They didn't want you to get to a superstar A plus level. You got past any dip set, any yeah, you got past all them. They ain't want you to get that big. Not Jim. Not Jim. He seen how they move for you. He seen you can snap your finger and they, they move. Cause you can give them 50,000, 40,000 to do this hit. 20,000 to do this move. Yeah, 50,000, 30,000 to do nothing. Just to protect me, make me look good. Yeah, any rapper I disrespect, y'all stand right there. He seen that, Jim ain't really have it like that. He had a lot of soldiers, but he can make a move that quick. Yeah, cause he, the funds weren't right. And he ain't put him in position. And you know, the Bloods, they stayed there under Jim because wasn't nothing else to do. Ain't nothing else to do but ball with the crew. Might as well say balling in the records. Might as well stand right there. It's either that or the crack house. It's either that or the trap house. It's either that or it's upstate. See what I'm saying? So we might as well, yeah, get in these parties, get in these clubs, get on this boat, get on this plane, make them look good, beat up a couple dudes. Yeah. So that what that was. So Jim always had it out for you, six nine. So why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he get an order, six nine? Yeah, he had to get you about the way you was becoming a problem, and you you stop paying. Once you stop paying, see Jim, he wanted you to do that. He wanted you to stop paying. So now the members they can start thinking like him. He been hating you, so he have a whole bunch of hate spill to get at them to make them flip on you to make them want to do something to you. You see what I'm saying? He didn't try to never help the situation. Try to uh, tell them, not hear him out. Nah, y'all shouldn't do it. Like, nah. He wanted them to steal more from you. Hit your girl. Or do anything, any type of drama, any type of foul, stealing type, any thief type way. 
he wanted them to do that to you. So you can flip on them. So then he can send them the same wolves because they the real wolves. They the real deal and you not. So they can, he can send them to, yeah, flip you. To finish you, to dismiss you, to delete you. To put you on a shirt, turn you into a pack. Yeah. They already had the Jays. They were going, they had a nice shirt. 6'9 RP on it with some tin with the wheat Tims, with the jacket, with the yeah, with the do rag under the ooh, with the fitted hat, the bigger like they had to get an eight. They got a little head. They had to get the eight so it could be big over the ooh with the with the big jacket with the RP 69. They already had it planned out with the blood thing on it. They were gonna make it look good. They weren't gonna get caught. They weren't gonna, unless it was on wiretap and they got they 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 was gonna be smooth. First 48 type, yeah. They had it planned out to cover up the good alibis and everything. Yeah, it's gonna turn you into a BET special. A mix. See, you kind of big. You might be. Uh, you might. Yours might go to the movies. The Six Nine story. Yours might the glory, and then the same members took you out to glory, and that was the end of your story. Yeah, that's why. They, that's that's what they wanted. But the feds, they intercept. They intercept because yeah, the, the big dogs came there. They intercept like, oh, oh, let's change these. Let's move some of these chess men around. Oh, 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 oh. No, you no. No, Jim, this is what you're going to do. You gonna, you're not getting that position again. What you're going to do, you're going to have that position in, but it's going to be under us. We control you now. You don't shut your mouth. You better not mention 6 9 That's what the feds, you better not mention 6 9 When you get out, you better not say one word. I'm telling you, Jim, we made you and we could break you. Don't make us tear that contract. You better not mention that boy. I don't care what he, you better not mention him. We'll make sure he don't really mention you like that. You understand? Even if he say your name. We'll get him straight. We'll get Danny straight. But, <laughs> I'm, all right, Jim. All right, now. Don't, don't, hey. My phone call is over. Yeah, so, Jim got to play his position. No. Now, this all, this all uh, theories. Ain't none of this. Can't, can't really prove that Jimmy, you know, working for them. So, this all theory. This all alleged. Understand? I'm just giving, I'm just giving the people what they want. Right? So, you know, they tell Jimmy, look, this is what we're going to do. Desiree, they over there, alleged Desiree. Look, we're going to, Jim, you're going to go back to your regular life. Don't worry about that. What would you doing in that car with them anyway? Don't worry about that little gun charge of VA. We got, that's a Commonwealth state. We make phone call. That's a gun charge. We don't care about that. We make one of them where uh, you, you know, put it together. One of them where you good. We don't even got to bring that up again. The conspiracy, we get on that. It's what we need you to do, though, Jim. We need you to remain yourself, remain Jimmy. I know you've been stressed out. I see all the gray hair, all the gray, your whole face. You look like Santa Claus. You look like Santa Claus. You look like a Santa Claus that get a shape up every week. You keep it trim, but it's gray everywhere. You're going crazy. I understand. What we're going to do for you, you're going to remain Jim Jones. You're going to remain that big blood leader type. You're going to remain that position. You're going to remain on Rock Nation. You're going to remain around them Dipset members and around them same members. You see what I'm saying? Now, we don't need you. Hear me out, Jimmy. We don't need you to give up the bloods when 6 9 doing it. Nah, we don't need you for that. That's going to mess up our plan. That's going to mess up our movie that we got that we want you to star in. Yeah, you want to win? You want to finish out big and still have your freedom and still have money and still not only that, we we'll team you up with some partner you up with some people, get some conversation started, get you in some rooms. We we'll get you invested in these, this, and get you invested in that. But you gotta first, yeah, make sure we straight. We're gonna place you. You're gonna sign a Rock Nation. But you're an artist and your agent. The two A's. Yeah, you're an artist and your agent. And yeah, you're gonna get placed there. You're gonna be. You're gonna be listening for conversations. Rappers tell you about guns, you listen, you tell us the right ones that we need, that we want. Rappers tell you about crime, you tell us. You know you don't have to wear a wire. If we need it, we'll let you know. Your word good. You know you don't have to take the stand on nothing. No, we're not going to let you blow your cover. This is not this type of job. Trust me. You trust me on this and you do it as we say, you're good. Now you make a mistake, you try to do stuff on your own, your cover get blown, there's nothing we can do. You know what I'm saying? They start bringing all these facts out and you start doing stuff sloppy like you always been doing, like a sloppy movie. You was in that car and you got caught up in VA. 
slot. That's the, that's the that's what that's what happened when Jim do stuff on his own. When he don't let us think for him. When Jim do stuff on his own, mistakes like that happen. He get in the car with people he shouldn't be in the car with. And they get pulled over, and you get charged, and you go to jail. It's wrong for us. You've been in jail. You know that. You'd have been fed. You'd have been fed bound. Yeah, you'd have been fed. You'd have been off the street, Jimmy. So understand. And yeah, you're gonna set Freaky Ziki back. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, it's Freaky. He cool. He know. Yeah. But don't be telling too much. Don't be telling people about what we got going on. This our little secret. Ours and Rock Nation. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to us. If you don't want to talk to us, because I understand your position in life. You talk to Desiree. You talk to uh, her assistant at Rock Nation. That's what you do. Yeah, when we need you, we'll call you. Understand that. And yeah, that's what that's what a lot of people speculate. That's what people thinking is going on, man. They're thinking you just uh, 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 you out on free. You ain't really giving no blows up because they still stamping you. They wouldn't stamp you. Ain't ain't like they getting paid no money to stamp you. Like that, you ain't paying them no money. You ain't really got no money coming in like that. You can just pay them like that. So you ain't turning them over. At least they don't think yet. They don't think that. They can't prove that. So you're doing something else. So you, they, people might think that you're an agent for Rock Nation, that you be around artists, be ear hustling. You know what I'm saying? Doing that prison stuff, acting like you sleep, listening to the conversation, acting like you sleep. He listened to the conversation. So the best thing an artist can do. You come around if you around Jimmy, don't you know what I'm saying? Just watch what you say until more information come out. Just to be, just to cover yourself, to be on the safe side. Don't be discussing all that gang talk, crime talk. You know what I'm saying? When you're around these artists, because you never know who's working. You never know who want to be chosen to be yeah in that world. So that's what it is. That's why. That's why Six Nine they suddenly hit on you. That's why he ordered the hit, and they, they he always wanted your spot. Six Nine, yeah, he had to give up that spot. He's coming for that number one spot. He know two is not a winner, and three nobody remember. You had that number one spot. You had to yeah come about that, cause he looked better at the position than you. He got the muscle. He got the look. Yeah, he from the block. You not. So it fit. That story fit with him more than it fit with you. He had it first. And he wanted back. He got a taste of that power. He just didn't never have that stardom. He didn't have all them hit records. He didn't have, yeah, it wasn't like that. They was getting money, but it wasn't like that. You see what I'm saying? It never was like that. So you came and you came like a hurricane, like a tornado, and just, yeah, made everybody follow you. Six Nine, you're not the only one that can make a crew do all that what you did. That a boy like you. Anybody with money can do that. They can move in one in a game and they adopt them and they get paid and they see it's legit and they'll try to handle them or they do stuff, they can make a move. Money can make anything move. Money can make lawyers go crooked. Money can make police go crooked. Feds go crooked. The president, the government go crooked. You think money from a, a boy that got all this money can make some game members, some demons go crooked? When real smart people who go to college, that went to the best colleges that America got to offer, they went, yeah, never did nothing wrong in life. They make them flip and they can't make them flip. Nah, that's not America. This is America. Greed. Yeah. All that, all that, that that's what matter in America. Money and all that duh. Everything that fall in money, power, respect. You already know what it is. So of course you can make them game. Just like another white boy or another amigo boy or another Asian boy or black boy can make some members move. Can make the the government move. You got the right you talking about the right money in the right situation. Yeah, everybody got a price. Just like that, yeah. Your wife. Your wife got a price. Yeah, she used to be on back page before they shut it down. She used to be on there, eighty dollars. 30 minutes, $150 an hour, yeah, 500 to 1000 overnight. Yeah, she used to be on there. She cleaned, they shut it down. She cleaned the profile up, got on POF, met you. You cuffed her like a lame. You cuffed her like a lame. And now she good church girl. Yeah. Uh, but she was in that world. Yeah, everybody, everybody got a price. So I understand, man. I'm talking about they let him. What you mean? Yeah, they, everybody don't get every members, every game member don't get them type of opportunities. They ain't gonna let that. A lot of members ain't gonna let that opportunity pass them by. Yeah, so it is what it is on that. Hey, six nine, I hear you say you ain't paying security like that no more.
you walk around with a million dollars and all that there, uh, you trying to let your nuts hang and you don't care no more. Did some say you got a death wish? Nah, you ain't ready to crash out. You ain't ready. What you need to do, what you need to do is find a way. Find a way. You need to make. You need to find some assets that can pay your security bill. That's what you need to do. Spend a million dollars every six months to nine months on security. You need to find an asset with passive income that can bring almost a million dollars. You need to team up with some of these real estate people. Yeah, you get a whole bunch of doors. You need to get a whole bunch of trucks. You need to get a whole bunch of stocks. Or you just need to make keep making the records so you can produce the million dollars because you ain't no, what you making it easy for. Only way, now if, you don't, if you're gonna crash out, then go ahead and crash out. But just to make it easy, just to not do it, just to say I ain't doing it, or pop out, just say you popped out. Or you try to sneak in or rolling out just to go in one of their face knowing you don't really want no static. Cause you know which ones to go in their face and which ones not to. You know which one gonna lip box with you. You know which one gonna, yeah, yeah back and forth with you. And you know which one gonna try to dirt you. You got different type of demons out here, 6 9 You never know which one you gonna bump into. You got some demons that are, uh, do you in front of broad daylight, in front of a big crowd. You got some that don't want nobody to see them do their crimes. You got some that want everybody to see, everybody to know. You got some that won't do nothing in front of police. You got some that'll crash out, go on dummy missions in front of police. You got you got goons out here, you got demons out here. They might not be black, they might not be white, they might not be Japanese or Asian or Mexican, but you got some demons out here. They'll smash you at an airport, knowing that's a dummy mission. It's a crash dummy mission, but they'll still smash you for that right bag. So understand, just ask yourself, is it worth it? You need to ask yourself, yeah. Because one thing about it, they know that you ain't got that iron on you. You ain't got that iron on you. And you ain't you ain't work no deal with the feds to, you know, get permission where you can have that iron on you. You see what I'm saying? You telling people, you know, you don't want to afford security. So is the money really coming like that? Like how it used to? It's still coming in, but the bills, the bills. So yeah, you need to watch all that overspending because your overspending can be the death of you, 6 9 Yeah, you need to watch, you need to chill buying the $500 million watches, all them Ferraris and all that. You don't need all that death. For what? What you buying the best jewelry for and you can't even really, you know what I'm saying, just go anywhere like that how you really want to. You can go anywhere, but not like how you really want to. So what's the point? What's the point to get the yellow one? You spend a million or seven hundred thousand dollars. You get the red one. You get the purple one. Nah, man. Rolex, Richard Miller, AP, man. Everybody got to say you ain't got to do all that overboard. Keep up with Floyd and all the big dogs. You spending too much money to have a target on your back like that. You can be blackballed, which you probably already did when you did that Nipsey Hussle thing. You see what I'm saying? So hey, watch that. You swiping that card, you better watch it now. Now, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, they do got overdraft fees. They do got it, but hey. But your fee can be not the $40, $50 what Bank of America or Wells Fargo is going to charge you or Chase Bank going to charge you. Your fee can be coughing up a lung. Yeah. Your fee can be your heart start beating. Yeah, your fee can be blood coming out your nose, your mouth, your chest. That's what your feet can be. I understand that. So, yeah, all them lambs and Ferraris and all these different females and spending all this unnecessary money. The security expense shouldn't be the expense you really need to dumb down. It's the other stuff that don't really, you don't need that. You don't need that. People don't, you already got the jury. People don't buy into you because of your jury. They buy into you because of your energy and the music that you, you push in all the stuff, the drama that come behind you, not the jury, the flashy, that ain't you. So you don't really have to really go down that lane like that. You good with the jury you got, relax, relax. Understand? Cause can you keep, can you keep the same lifestyle up for 10 years? Cause one thing about demons, they'll still be mad 10 years later. They'll still be mad 
15, 20 years later because you're making too many people mad. You're making somebody mad. There's somebody mad at you in every state in America, somebody mad at you. So you're making demons just because they ain't got at you yet. It's a lot of killers that did stuff. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got that yet. How long you been out? Two or three years? Two years? The dude that killed Soldier Slim, he was out on the street a long time. Years. Got killed later, five years, six years, seven years later, still got killed. Tupac killer. He's on the street for years. Still got killed. 50 Cent. Dude, he shot 50 Cent nine times. He was on the street. He didn't die right after that. Months later, years later, got killed. Yeah, so come on, man. Just because a year go by, two years, three years, four years, one thing about evil, evil never forget. Not evil. Evil never forget. Now, sometimes they do forgive. That's a lie when they, they do. Evil do got a little heart in them somewhere. They do forgive other evil stuff sometimes. But that don't mean that'll be your case. That don't mean that. Understand it, man. So, try, keep talk talk like you. One of these rappers that you know, got a whole bunch of respect, they don't really need no security. Talk like you, Jada Kiss or Styles P or somebody. They don't need to have no security. Keep talking like that. Like you got it like that. Yeah, nah. You need that. You need your, you need more than you need. You really need, because right now, see, now you don't really got nothing to lose. You really need the FBI. But you ain't really had them. You really need really law enforcement working with you. And still talk your spiel. But if you do that, people still they'll still come at you like, you talking like that, we got the police right there. So to make it work, you gotta see see what you gotta do. Look at your character. Look what look, it gotta make it dangerous. But I your character being dangerous, it won't work. You just at a higher level. There's a lot of artists like you. But they at a lower level. They don't got that, that jacket on their back, but they a, they gotta do what you gotta do. Keep drama around. But you gotta do it to the fullest, to the biggest. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta damn near to make your name hot, to keep it hot, you gotta keep you gotta get shot at soon. You gotta try to get stabbed. Somebody gotta try to kidnap you soon. You need a movie to come out soon. You need a lot of stuff to have. You need to be in a car wreck soon. You need to wreck a Lamborghini soon. Yo, you need to wreck you need to get poisoned from some food somewhere. You need you, you gotta stay in that type of you need to get burnt. You need to let one of them little nasty hoes burn you. you. You need to keep your name in the yeah. Anything negative, uh, that what you got. That would keep six nine alive. Once it go all positive, can you survive without you know people saying f you? Can you survive? Yeah. You need you need the hate. The hate is how you survive. Once they show you love again, I hope, if you ever got a whole bunch of 100% straight love, you'll lose. Because that's when, when you get all that, that means you ain't going to get a whole bunch of attention. See, when people hate you, you still get the attention. When people love you, you ain't really get the attention like that. You'll just fade away. They won't even talk about you like that. They'll love you, though, but they don't even talk. They don't talk about Ozzy Osbourne like that. He don't be in, in the news. They love him. He do a show. He'll sell out. They hate you. You stay in the... You know, not I'm talking about the people that don't like you. When they don't, them, I'm talking about them people when they hate you. You'll stay in the light. You'll stay in the line. You got the right friend though. You made the right friend. For you, the best friend you can have is an academics or a DJ Vlad or a Sean Cotton. You ain't got none of them, but you got academics. You better not burn that bridge. That's the last bridge. You burn that bridge. That's the death of six nine. That's definitely the beginning of the death of six nine. You'll be. You be drowning. You be drowning, hoping somebody throw you a life jacket. Yeah, throw you a float. Your arms will be. You'll see number the little six nines on your fingers and, and, and arms and stuff. But that's what happened if you burn that bridge for academics. And you better hope you don't die of impact when you hit the water. You better hope you don't die of impact if you burn that bridge for academics. That's all you got. That's all you got. As far as like keeping you alive in social media making you look good when you comment your comment stand at the top of the page the other blogs they just waiting for you to die or kill because <laughs> 869 some of these a lot of these fans that you know talk bad about you 
in front of everybody a lot of bloggers that you know they gotta stick with the politics some of them they want to see you they want to see you run down on meat meal and gun them down they want to see that they want to see you see little dirt and slap them the same dudes they turn around and say they rat you ain't this you ain't that you told same fans they want to see you smash little dirt so they can be like, damn, Dirk. You let they want to see you smash, yeah, a Jim Jones. They want to see you. They want to see you crash out one of the Meek Mill. They want, or they at least want to see you hit. They want to see you hit. Yeah, they want to see that. That's how the streets is. That's how the fans is. That's how drill music is. Fans and all that stuff. They come with all that stuff. Yeah, so they want to see you die and they want to see you kill. Whatever happened, the movie play out, they got their popcorn. The popcorn been popped. They just, they overload on popcorn. Extra butter, candy, slushies, all that stuff you get at the, yeah. All that stuff you get at the movies, yeah, all that. They got the nachos, the cheese, the chili, and everything on it. They got all their food, all their snacks. They just, however the movie gonna play out. Yeah. They know your movie gonna end better than Power. Your movie gonna end better than all them hood movies. Yeah, you gonna die like ghosts? Cause six nine, they know your movie gonna end better than power when you go out, whether it's gun blazing or getting gunned down or incarceration. That's what the people think. Yo, that's how your story gonna end. That's how your story. That's how they think. That's how they feel. That's what they want to happen. Same thing for Jim Jones. That's what. That's, that's what they want. That's what the people want to see. This America, we like seeing blood. So don't worry about it. But the other bloggers tell you it don't even matter because they don't got no power. America, we like seeing blood. But it's from yeah, the streets. Yeah. One thing about us in America, we like seeing different blood. Different people like seeing different blood. Some people like seeing gladiator type blood. Some people like seeing animals when they fight. They like seeing their blood. Some people like seeing gangster, gang banging, street culture blood. Some people like seeing that lifetime movie type blood. Some people like seeing that serial killer type blood. Yeah, but <laughs> America loves seeing blood. This was built off blood, off war. And yeah, so how can we blame some drill fans? How can we blame the fans when the people that's at the top, the elite families, they like seeing blood. They like evil. Yeah, so what them bloggers talking about? They just talking. Yeah, they just talking. Understand that, 6 9 yeah, that's my take on this conversation, though, man. Y'all hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the notification bell. Drop no comments, man. Come.